Hey, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect to your Divi child theme style sheet through FTP. This is part five of my beginner tutorial series. And up to this point, we've talked about how to install and set up WordPress. I gave you an overview of WordPress and you found out that my theme of choice is the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. We talked about what a child theme is and I gave you a free download for that. We talked about where to put your custom CSS when you're ready to start really customizing your site. But the next biggest question I get, and really all of these tutorials, these beginner tutorials, have been answering the top five questions that I get all the time. And that question is, once I start doing a lot of CSS, how do I get directly to my style sheet? It's a really good question. It's something that I cover in a couple of my courses, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you right now in this video. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so there are a lot of reasons you're gonna to want to connect to your style sheet directly. As you saw in the previous video, part four of this little tutorial beginner series, we just added that little line of custom CSS right here and you saw me edit it directly through the theme editor. Again, you can put your CSS in a bazillion places in Divi, but ideally it's gonna to go to your style sheet. Now the problem and the issue with putting it here directly through your theme editor is I, I, I do this often with quick updates, but when you're working on a site and you're writing potentially hundreds or thousands of lines of CSS, which can happen pretty quickly when you're customizing things a lot, uh, you're going to want to do it in, you're going to want to access that style sheet directly. And you're also going to want to do it through a text editor and not right here, because this is basically showing all of the, the code and everything, but it's not giving you any of the bells and whistles that a text editor will have. For example, if I open my preferred text editor sublime, if I paste that there, let's save this as style.css. Yeah, that's fine, we're gonna replace that. You'll see here that it gives me colorized descriptions of the code. And then if I wanted to add something, it's gonna give me all these really cool indicators that is gonna help me with CSS. I talk about all this in more detail with my CSS Divi course. Uh, and this is actually something I talk about in a little more detail. I wanted to mention that too. I have a whole course on Divi and CSS where I talk about creating what's called FTP counts in a little more detail. So be sure to check that out with the discount code below. But we're just gonna scratch the surface of it. And the reason you wanna use a, a, a text editor is because you're gonna have a lot more options like this. It's gonna help you out, particularly those of you new with code. So I say that to say, you can edit your CSS right here, but ideally you're gonna access it through FTP. So what FTP is, in short, it's called, it's short for File Transfer Protocol. I know that sounds like a good time, right? Well. That's basically saying, hey, you wanna go through your hosting company and then you wanna access this directly. Now, the way you do that is through cPanel, which is again, why I have that cPanel course I mentioned early on with this tutorial series, because it's super important for you to understand this. But let me just show you kind of where this is first. So if we log into cPanel, I have a few different options. Uh, under files, there's the file manager and some other stuff. And then there's FTP accounts. So let me go ahead and choose this. And this is gonna take me to where I can actually create an account that is going to zip me directly to whatever file I want. And in this case, I wanna take it to my child theme. So cool thing about this is I can make anything I want. We'll just call this Jimbo. Let's say Jimbo wants to start coding the site. I can give it a password, anything I want. Let's go ahead and use this password generator. Yep, that looks good to me. Use that password. And I'm gonna go and put that in there, put that in there. And right here, it's gonna automatically uh, create what's called this file path. But we, again, we wanna link, we wanna create a path that goes right to this child theme or this style sheet. And the way you do that is to just customize this file path. Now, this is using cPanel with SiteGround, but any of your hosting companies, whether it's GoDaddy or Bluehost or wherever you host, is gonna be very similar. You just create an FTP account, and then you can choose where this goes. Now, if you're just getting started, this is probably very confusing. So let me just explain very quickly how this is all set up. If I go um, under file manager, uh, where I showed you where the files were, if you go to the file manager, it's gonna look something like this. Very scary, very terrifying. I explain all of this in more detail on my cPanel course. So be sure to check that out with a discount below. It's gonna make sense of this and you're gonna be able to understand how the WordPress file structure uh, how it works and where everything is. But in any case, when I set up my subdomain for this site, it was under this folder right here called WP Beginner. 
So if I select that, you're gonna see a bunch of scary files, but if I look into the content folder, this is actually where the themes are. So as you recall from part three of this tutorial series, under themes, I set up the Divi child theme. So if I go in there, and actually I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll take this right here. If I select this, check this out. It gave me a whole path as to where this file goes. So I'm gonna copy this and you guessed it, that's what I'm gonna put right here in the directory. So this is saying, hey, this FTP account for Jimbo will have this password and it's gonna go to the directory of wherever my site is under the public, what's called HTML folder. It's gonna go into the site at WP Beginner, which just as a side note, uh, that's where this domain is. It's wpbeginner.joshhall.co, that's the website. And then from there, it's gonna go into the content folder, it's gonna go under themes, and it's gonna stay right at themes, so when I log in, I can find my child theme. So let's go ahead and create this FTP account. Whoops, and I'm actually not super original because it looks like I used Jimbo before, so let's use Jimbo1. Now let's create this account. Now again, I talk about this in more detail in my Divi CSS course, and my cPanel course, but this is gonna create an account. Now you can find this under here with any other FTP account that you have set up. So, oh, there's my old Jimbo. So here's my Jimbo and look at this right here. It's gonna say configure FTP client. This is gonna give you some details to where you can choose whatever what's called file transfer program. It's gonna give you some details. Now, I like to use transmit. This is my preferred file transfer protocol program. I've used it for a number of years and I love it. It's pretty cheap too. I think at the time of recording this, yeah, it's 45 bucks. So there are some free ones. And as you saw in the FTP um, client setup, there's like FileZilla, there's CyberDuck, there's some free ones which are cool too, but I've just found Transmit to work very well, very quick as well. So if I open that up on my computer, it's gonna look something like this. Left side is gonna be my website or my computer and all the files that I have and then I can connect directly to what's called the FTP server. So that's where I'm gonna take this information. I'm gonna take the FTP username and the server and all that and my password I set up and I can log in directly. So let's do that real quick. So I've got my information over here that we set up over here in Transmit. I've got the server, which is called FTP, joshua.go, got our username and we've got that fancy password that we put in there. Generally, you don't ever have to change the port number and we're just gonna connect directly with FTP. So, fingers crossed, we should log in right to where we set up our child theme, which again, if you remember, we found where our child theme is and we copied this path, this URL path, and now we connect. Hey, would you look at that? That brought us right into where the Divi child theme is. Now, we could actually take this one step further. We could go right into the child theme and that would look like Divi Child instead of uh, keeping us out here. But we can also go right there. And then now we can open up Sublime, our text editor. And if you remember over here, what we put in right there, that's what's right there. So in a lot of my tutorials, you'll see me bring up this text editor and that's exactly what you're seeing. I'm going right into the website through this method. Again, you, there's uh, the other places that you can put CSS like I showed you previously. But in this case, this is a great way to go about it if you're coding nonstop. So for example, let's say we wanted to go back to our header line that we tweaked. And let's say, you know what we do wanna add, we wanna add like a thick border. The client said they want a thick border there. Let's make like a thick red border that's bright red. Man, look at that design. That's some good design going on right now. Let's take that, let's go back to our style sheet and we can actually, we'll just whoop, we'll just replace uh, the code here. Let's replace that and replace that. Again, this is why I have my CSS Divi course for you guys. Now I just click save and once that let me know, once that uh, lets me know that it saves, now when we go back out to the site, we should refresh. It's probably not gonna show yet, so let's give it a hard refresh. And bam, there you go. The code that I put directly in here affected the live website because I went through Transmit, I opened up my theme editor, and any code I do in here now is gonna show up on the site when I adjust it. And let's just do this real quick. Um, let's duplicate this, watch this. Oop. 
And let's actually just put it above it. Now we added two classes, let's save that. And now if I go back in the dashboard under theme editor, we should see that code. And there it is. Everything I added right here is now mimicked in here. So what you're seeing in the theme editor is what you're seeing directly when we connect through FTP. So there you go, guys. This is just, again, scratching the surface. This is why I have a couple courses, my cPanel course and my Divi CSS course. It's gonna take your advanced knowledge with all this to a next level. Uh, but that's essentially how it works. And that's how easy it is to set up an FTP account and connect to your style sheet directly. Again, there's no problem with going in right here, but as you start doing a lot of advanced CSS, you wanna make sure you have a nice text editor and be able to, to do stuff like that and uh, you know see all these little things that are gonna help you with coding. And again, if you mess up a file here, it's not gonna take your site down or you can at least roll back another version. Whereas sometimes if you mess something up here or miss a colon or something in here, it can break down your whole site. So you don't wanna do that. It's also why you wanna know CSS. So hope you guys have enjoyed this beginner tutorial series. And man, did we make a beautiful website or what? <laughs> no, I've got some other stuff in the works for actually to show you guys how to design and build a site. And then of course, all my courses are available for you guys as well to take your game to the next level. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series. If you did enjoy it and it helped you out, let me know. I'd love to hear a comment, uh, ideally on my website because I can get to those faster. Uh, but I would love to hear what you thought. Hopefully this help you, helps you guys get going with WordPress Divi and give you some good knowledge so you get ready to add your CSS like a boss. I will see you guys on some other tutorials soon. So keep at it. Don't let this stuff scare you and have fun designing awesome websites with WordPress and Divi. Woo. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers.